This is the third in the series on weights and measures. Grab your Bibles, your notebooks, or just listen along. See you in a minute. Okay, weights and measures. The next one is Homer, and Homer is nine times in the Bible, and I'll Put it up on the screen so you guys can see all the places that it is. They're all in the Old Testament. And our verse that we're going to be talking about is the same verse we talked last week, talked about last week for the bath measurement. And it's Isaiah 5:10. 10. ten yea, ten acres of vineyard show ye one bath. And we did that one last week, so you can go back and look at that if you didn't see it and know how much that was. And the seed of the homer shall yield an ephah. Now remember, this was when they were being punished, so I tried to figure out what it is so that we could put a reference with this verse so we could understand it better. One homer equals six bushels the type of bushels that is today's weight. And since not everybody lives near farms where they would know what a bushel is, I looked up a description of how to figure out how to show what a bushel is. And I'm sorry, they're wor still working on remodeling my house. So there's gonna be background noise. One bushel is equal to eight gallons of today's type gallons, a dry gallon dry measurement gallon. So if you measured out a gallon in dry weight, that's eight of them, makes one bushel. And six bushel, bushels make a homer. So I have a little illustration. I'll take a picture and paste it up. One bushel equals eight gallons times six, because six bushels go into one homer. <laughs> Stay with me equals 48 gallons of dry measure. So that's 48 gallons of seeds. So I got that conversion to break it down from Yummy Mummy Kitchen's website. So let's picture in our heads how many green bean seeds can we fit in a gallon? That's a lot of seeds. So think of it as 48 gallons of green bean seeds. It takes 80 pounds of green beans seeds to plant one acre of land. So if we want to picture uh, uh, an acre, it's 103 tractor trailer trailers all boxed in together. That's the size of an acre. So that, or you can think of it as, where did I have it? Oh, 43,560 square feet. So if you visualize square feet better, there's that. Or if you could visualize it better with the uh, uh, tractor trailer things, I had that. Okay, the Homer equals 48 gallons and one gallon is 8.344 pounds. So, in order to figure out how many acres that we would cover with our Homer, so we can figure out how much this is producing, we can do the math. And I'll put a picture up there with the math on it. So, let me see. So, it would multiply out the 48 gallons by the 8.344 pounds a gallon, and it comes up to 400.512 pounds of green bean seeds. And if you divide that by 80, because it's 80 pounds per acre, you would have 5.0064 acres of land needed to plant one homer of seed. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, isn't it? So uh, as, as I do these things, I'll take pictures and I'll post, uh, uh, put them up on the screen so that you can see as well. 
And um, so, and so, yeah, can't even talk. And you should get 10,200 pounds of green beans from one acre. So if you times that by 5.0064 acres, which you would have enough seeds to plant that many acres, you should produce uh, 51,065.28 pounds of green beans per one homer of green bean seeds. So we're going to see next time, next Wednesday, how much the EFA is because that's what they got. It said, and the seed of one homer, which is the seed to plant a little over five acres, yielded one EFA. So we found out how much it would produce in five acres now, 10,200 pounds. So next week when we talk about the EFA, we'll see if that's what they got. Or did they get less, like they got less in the vineyard. That was a lot, and I'll try to put everything up on the screen so you can get a visual at the same time. But that's it. Quick. Kind of quick. <laughs> but I'm finding this very interesting, and I hope you guys are too. So next week is the EFA, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.